everybody. Welcome back. It is 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. And what an interesting story to take place on the 4th of July. This is in New Zealand. And you can see on the title here, police seek help from the public in identifying a mystery explosion sound. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now that this has meteor written all over it. And we're going to get into why. Now, I actually have some sound and a little bit of video of this actually taking place from a porch cam. And then the man was later interviewed on a news station about this. And what's interesting about it is this right here. So I'm going to read this for you. A mysterious large explosion sound has been heard in several towns in North Canterbury. The incident happened just before 9 a.m. on Tuesday with many residents saying there was a shockwave following the noise. That is an identifying mark of a meteor explosion. A police spokesperson said they received the calls from people in Kaiopi, Rangoria, and other North Canterbury areas. But most of these reports were from Woodend, 23 minutes north of Chris Church. Now, police were looking everywhere for the source of the explosion, they called it, but there was absolutely no signs of anything to be found. Now, what's interesting is that there are reports coming in from around that area. The Canterbury area they're speaking about is right around this area here, which is part of New Zealand. As I zoom out, you can see there were two reports not yet confirmed of meteor sightings. So that right there is a bit of a coincidence. It has not been confirmed yet, but to see that these two people or these two reports here reported seeing something in the sky exploding, again, just leads me to believe that this could have been something overhead, a sonic boom type deal with a meteor. Now take a listen to this very quickly in the news hub station in that part of New Zealand. Here we go. Well, residents in North Canterbury are mystified over a large sonic boom that rocked several towns this morning. The loud explosion explosion noise was heard just before 9 a.m. and so far there's no explanation for it. All right, so there you go. No explanation. Now listen to this. Quite literally just before this takes place, this man is walking out onto his porch. He opens the door and then you hear this noise. Take a listen. Wow. What the f was that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's take one more listen to that. You could hear the sonic boom as clear as day. Crazy stuff. Now take a listen to what this guy's response is once she asks about any sort of theories that may have been taking place or what people are saying about this. Here we go. Nobody knows what it was. Are there any theories down there about what it could have been? Well, I've, I've sort of just had a look at a few um, comments tonight and yeah, lots of theories. Um, you know, uh, people saying like a meteorite coming through the through the atmosphere, but I would have thought you would have seen some debris or um, something in the sky because we had blue clear skies here so all right so once again a large sonic boom heard over parts of new zealand we have reports coming in of people seeing a meteor or this sonic boom they keep using the word sonic boom and that is a very common term used when you're talking about something breaking through the atmosphere and if it's a daytime sighting you don't always see them they are possible to be seen i've seen them myself but that does not mean that there was anyone watching at the time so this is very much what it could have been and just the fact that we're getting those reports near this part of New Zealand is leading me to believe more and more that this was something that exploded in the sky. And that, my friends, would be nothing new, specifically on this channel. I have one more topic I want to talk about with you guys about that X-Class solar flare and a growing set of sunspots that's heading our way that look pretty active. We're going to be on a watch for that and major earthquake warnings. All right, so as you can see on this chart right here, we had an X-Class solar flare on July 3rd, or at least just before getting into July 3rd, which means the energy, which surprisingly did not produce a CME. So the amount of energy that's going to be contacting Earth is not going to be as crazy as let's say this thing were Earth facing and did produce a CME. But nonetheless, we are just about at that time where this is going to be putting that pressure on the Earth's magnetic field. Hence, radio blackouts, which happened immediately after this. In fact, all over the Atlantic Ocean and the surrounding areas had complete radio blackouts right after this happened. And remember, as I'm about to show you here in this area where this took place, it's on the right departing limb of the sun, which means it's moving away from us. So luckily it didn't happen a few days sooner or, or we might be dealing with a whole separate situation. But take a look at this explosion. This thing was no joke. That was a very large X-class solar flare. Boom. There it is again. I could watch this stuff all day. Very, very large. And there you have it there. That was the end of the action that came from that part of the sun. So although it's been fairly quiet with the earthquake situation, I do expect that to change because not only are we going to be getting hit with that energy from the X-class flare, 
flare, we are now going to start feeling those M-class flares that are moving in towards Earth facing, and they look to be getting stronger, they look to be getting bigger, and that is what you don't want. That is when the pressure on the Earth's magnetic field causes those things like radio blackouts and even power outages. Everything can happen from earthquakes, even to people physically feeling it in their bodies. And one last thing I want to show you guys was the possibility of an invest that might pop up just past the Cape Verde Islands. You can see it starting to form right here as we move in from today into July 5th. In fact, let's move into July 5th. You can see it get a little bigger there just as it's underneath Dominican Republic, Haiti, passes Puerto Rico. We may see an invest pop out of this, but I feel like the sheer winds in this area are too strong right now for anything to form, but nonetheless, something to keep an eye on as we move into the next couple days. All right, my friends, that's what I got for you for now. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Shout out to Canada. Special get well to a friend of mine out there. I really hope you get well soon. I know you will be back on your feet in no time. All right, my friends, until next time, take care. Bye-bye. right there my friends if you have not already click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon click, click all and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed